Hi guys, we're here at the Microbiology Laboratory at Hamilton Health Sciences, Hamilton General Hospital. And I'm joined today by Dr. Cheryl Main. We're going to show you guys the power of proper hand washing as we come into flu season. We're gonna try out some really cool experiments so you can get a look at just how gross that stuff on your hands really is. So we're going to use a process called culturing, which yes. is using this plate here to help develop the bacteria that you'd normally see on your hands so that you can visually see it without a microscope. And we're gonna start with just plain unwashed hands. Yes. So I've touched stuff uh, like doorknobs and handles and things that I might in my everyday life. And then what do we do next here? So this, this plate has agar, which will allow the bacteria to grow. So take your three fingers and just press them onto the plate, just enough that you can sort of make a little dent in it. So then this will go into an incubator overnight and we'll see what grows. So now we've got our slide with our unwashed hands and now we're going to wash our hands two yes. ways. How do people normally wash their hands? To properly wash your hands, you need to wash them for at least 20 seconds. People often don't spend enough time, they don't take off their jewelry, and they don't dry their hands properly, which is an important component in getting the hands clean. So now we're gonna do it the right way. Right. So you need to take off your ring and start up the water, and you're gonna wash your hands for about 20 seconds, which seems like a really long time. It's about the length of time it takes to sing the song Happy Birthday. When you're finished washing, rinse them off and leave the water on. Get a towel, and once you've dried your hands, you can use the towel to turn off the water so you don't recontaminate your hands. Great job. And so another great option is to use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Yes. They're highly effective and they don't require you to have access to a sink or paper towels. And as long as you rub in the hand sanitizer until your hands are fully dry, it's just as effective as washing at a sink for most things. So this is our plate that was cultured before hand washing. And each of the little white spots that you see on the plate is a colony of bacteria growing. Each of those spots started with one bacteria and then they've grown into thousands to millions of bacteria, so, so much that we can actually see them with the naked eye. And so that's why it's so important to be thorough in our hand washing. And we can't actually see viruses because no. they can only grow inside cells. But this principle does kind of give you a, a bit of a look into how they might um, grow and develop and move from surface to surface. So while we can't yep. see them, just as important to get those off of our hands. Correct. So let's see what your plate looks like when you wash your hands really poorly. So in this plate, you can see that there are still bacteria growing, maybe not as many as before you washed your hands, but lots of white dots here that represent colonies of bacteria. I did not do a very good job. No, you no. don't. And this is all stuff that you can pass on from contact. So those little guys are gonna live on the surfaces of your hands, and when you touch others or surfaces, they'll keep living, they won't, they won't mm. die, they'll just move on to the next That's house. right. Ooh. Okay, now let's see how well you did when you washed your hands well. So well, with look at that. proper hand washing, we have almost no bacteria. We still have a few white dots, but not as many as before, and these are just skin organisms. Well, skin is a nice environment for bacteria to grow. It's nice and moist and warm, and it has um, nutrients just from the proteins in the skin. When you wash your hands, we, we do a number of things. So the soap itself helps to kill the bacteria, but the physical rubbing, the friction that we produce, wipes off some of them um, and damages them as well. And then when you dry your hands properly, you're getting rid of even more. So you get a lot more benefit if you wash your hands properly and dry them fully. So I really hope that seeing this up close, seeing all of these germs and the way they grow and develop has been a good reminder for you to wash your hands thoroughly. It can uh, prevent the spread of bacteria, it can prevent the spread of viruses like flu, and especially this time of year, that is so important. Thanks so much, Cheryl. My pleasure.